Hello everyone, welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. It's me, John. And today I am going to be trying this regular regular whopper. This is just a whopper with everything that comes on it, except for cheese, which doesn't come on it originally if it's asked for. But this is just a regular whopper with everything that comes on it. I'm gonna taste this. But I'm going to taste it for a special reason. Because I want to have that flavor in my mind fresh. So that I can see if these Doritos that are supposed to taste like flame grilled Whopper are accurate to the flavor that it states. These Whopper flavored Doritos, currently that I know of, are only available in the UK. This free Whopper meal that you can get if you uh, scan the code on back here only works in UK Burger Kings so if you're in the UK you can definitely get that free Whopper meal when you buy a meal at a UK Burger King you don't even need to have this bag it's just on the their app but only the UK app anyway I'm going to read some of the ingredients on here, uh, just so we can think maybe you, those also are in, uh, a regular Whopper. The first ingredient of corn is corn, of course, not in a Whopper. Rapeseed oil. I don't know if that's in a Whopper, I doubt it. Flame grilled Whopper seasoning. What's in that? Sugar. Flavorings. Okay. It's vague. Salt, I'm sure there's salt. Onion powder, I'm sure there's some kind of onion powder or onion in here. Potassium chloride, uh, which is a different type of salt. Dried parsley, I don't know if there's parsley in any whopper at all. Citric acid, spices, another vague thing. Smoked salt, uh, I suppose a smoked salt is probably supposed to give those flame grilled kind of flavors to it. Uh, then for it says colors paprika extract and anthocyanins I'm Not sure exactly uh, Paprika I'm sure that's supposed to have a red color to it Anthocyanins cyan sounds blue. So maybe blue colors don't know why you would have blue in that antioxidants rosemary extract ascorbic acid tosopherol rich extract and citric acid may contain wheat, gluten, soy, and milk. It doesn't say it will, it says it may. This bag also says that it's best before 3 6 23. But I'm assuming this is day, month, year, because in the UK that, that's how it usually so it's probably the 3rd of June 2023 not the 6th of March, like I would have read it. All right, let's go ahead and try it out. First, let's get the taste of a Whopper. And for the record, I don't know if the Whoppers in the UK are different at all. The picture in the front shows bun, burger, pickle, tomato, lettuce, onion. All those things are on this Whopper. It doesn't show cheese in the picture either. So that's why another reason why I went with the cheeseless Whopper. Let's go ahead and give me a couple bites in here. It's a very familiar flavor. I've had tons of Whoppers in my lifetime. Beefy. You get some mayo, tomato, pickle in there. The lettuce just adds a really crunch, not too much flavor at all. The onions also mostly add crunch. However, the onions have some flavor to them. 
unlike lettuce. I just don't think white onions have all a whole lot of strong flavor to them. Okay. I have that flavor envisioned in my mind. I have some more to go back to in case I need to go back and forth. Let's clean off the palate. And now it's time to try the Wapa flavored Doritos. First, let's judge the smell. It weirdly smells like peanut butter. What does a Whopper smell like? It smells like meat and vegetables. And that smells like peanut butter for some reason. Maybe it's the, the oil that was cooked in that smelled like that. Anyway, let's go ahead and try it. It definitely has like a look of somewhere between uh, cheese and ranch. It has those like red and green flecks on it. Let's taste it. Okay. Not the flavor I was expecting. So, weirdly, it's sweet, and the first ingredient of the Whopper seasoning is sugar. But I'll tell you where the, the peanut butter smell is coming from. There's like a burnt flavor. It doesn't taste like you flame grilled a Whopper patty. It tastes like you turned a Whopper patty into charcoal. Like their idea was, let's cook a burger patty until it's completely dry, pulverize that into a dust, and then use that as a seasoning. Which I don't think that's what they did, or else the meat would be on the ingredients. Unless they can somehow get that by by flavorings. Yeah, um, doesn't taste like this whopper at all. I'm not getting any flame grilled beefiness. Like I said, it tastes like way overcooked meat. Like, so past far well done it should just be called congratulations. It's weird. So like this burnt flavor, a sweetness, and that's really about it. I was expecting a pickliness, a tomatoiness, an onioniness. If Whoppers taste like this in the UK, I'm sorry. I'm going to go back to the good tasting Whopper. Much better. Mm. 
tomatoey, beefy, oniony, pickly. All those things. Sweetness and burntness, but not burnt sweetness. Like there's no caramelized flavors to it. It doesn't taste like burnt sugar. It tastes like burnt meat or burnt bread with then fresh sugar sprinkled on top of it. Not good. Um, unless this. Uh, gets revamped and redone and you bring it back to the drawing board and just throw this recipe completely away and start from scratch uh, please don't bring this to the United States because it's not good it tastes like burnt things and the chips themselves aren't burnt they just taste burnt weird anyway this is gonna be a thumbs down do not recommend Whopper flavored Doritos from the UK. <sighs> it's frustrating trying things that are bad multiple times in a row, but sometimes it happens. Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. If you're in the UK and you've tried these, let me know. Do Whoppers in the UK taste different? Let me know that too. We'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos, and until next time, see you later. Goodbye.